All right, welcome back to season three of our show. Today, it's lentils. Let's show you how to get them done. So right here, we have a one pound bag of lentils. We got some yellow onion. We got some scallions, which are green onion. And we have some ham and Swiss chard. Onto the stove we go. All right, so we're ready. We got our olive oil in. Now, what I did do is throw a little onion in here. Now that onion is starting to sizzle up. A good way to tell when your oil is hot just put a little onion in there and wait for it to start to go. So I'm going to get all of the onion in there and half of my green onion in there. So I got some yellow onion, green onion, but you can use whatever onion you want. Mix it up, make it yours. I'm going to go there with that. Now we got our onion in. Get all of our ham in. Now we're just going to brown this up to get some flavor out of here. That is what you want to do. Then after we get finished browning and sweating that onion at the same time, and with our lentils we go, and then we're going to get some liquid in here. So that's what you want to do. Just get all that flavor out of that ham. When you start to cook the flavor out of ham, it gets very bacony, and it starts to taste like bacon. If you leave it like this, it's gonna keep in that little ham form, and it's gonna still taste like ham if you don't bring the bacon out of it. So that's what we wanna do. We wanna brown it up, and just get a little bacon flavor out of it. It's a great alternative to bacon because you won't have all that fat. So we're going to brown this up and we're going to meet you right back here, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. Alright, so our ham is starting to brown up. And you can see down the bottom of there, those nice bits. So what we're going to do is deglaze that with just a little sherry cooking wine. Just a little bit. And we're going to get those bits off the bottom. Just like that. And just get all those bits up off the bottom. Now I'm going to go in with just a little bit of water. Like that. And as we're bringing those bits up off the bottom, we'll just give it a gentle stir. So what we're going to do now is just lower the heat. Just take it off the eye, like that. Lower the heat completely. I'm going to add a little bit more water to it to stop it from cooking. Because we don't want it to come to that boil so hard. And now we're going to get our lentils in. All of our lentils. Now that you have all your lentils in, we're going to give them a stir. Like that. And what I'll do is I'm going to add some more water just to cover them because they're going to cook and they're going to soak up that water so it'll go about there. I'll leave some water off to the side and as they cook I can add my water as I go along. But these are only going to take about 30 minutes to cook, 30-35 minutes and that is it. Now we took them off the stove because this is an electric stove and I want this eye to cool down. When that eye cools down I'm going to put them back on and let them go and then drop the lid on them and that's it. So let's see if my eye is cool enough. It looks like it's pretty cool. They'll come back up to a slight simmer because that eye is still hot. That's why I like using gas stoves because you can just 
do that automatically. You're not waiting around with an electric stove. So it's on simmer. We're gonna put the lid on and then we're gonna meet you back here. So stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, 15 minutes in. Let's show you what's going on in this pot. Look at those. So they're starting to absorb the liquid. And you want this to cook down some more, absorb more liquid, and you might add a little bit in just to make the right consistency with these, but that's all that simple. Just let them cook down on their own. So like I said, 30 minutes to cook this, and that's where you want that to be. So we're gonna put that back on. Now over here, we made some wild rice. I got some sage in there, that's fresh sage. A little bit of olive oil, a pinch of salt. We're gonna put some water in here. We're gonna bring this up a little bit of water over the rice. We're gonna put it on high, let the water evaporate. Then we're gonna put the lid on it. And that's it. That should take about 15 minutes to cook as well too. Very simple, if you have any problems with that, just read your box. We'll meet you right back here, stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, 22 minutes in. And we're just gonna check these. And they're looking right. Now they're still feeling a bit firm. So what I'm gonna do now at this point is I'm gonna jack my heat up on my stove a little bit more. This is water, it's warm. I put it in the microwave, I heated this up so this way I wouldn't cool down the pot. So make sure if you are gonna dump water, add a little bit in, but make it the temperature that you need there. And that's it. So we're gonna stir that in a little bit and then we're gonna take our Swiss chard and we're gonna get that in the pot. Just like that. Now this will add some more moisture to it so make sure you don't add too much moisture. So we're gonna put the Swiss chard in there and leave it on top, don't stir it. And we're gonna let that steam down and then we're gonna stir it. And that's it. We'll meet you back here. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right. Time to push this kale down. So now we had it on the top and we're just gonna move it in and get it in there. Our lentils look like they're coming along perfect. And that's the consistency you want in there when you look at this. And you just want to get that Swiss chard down in there. And look at that. It goes right down in there. So it looked like a lot, but it really isn't. And that's that. That simple. All right, so I'm going to get the lid on this. Let it go for about five more minutes. We'll be approaching about 35 minutes total for this, and that's it. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, we are all done. Let's show you what we got going on here. Look at those. Beautiful. Now that's how you want to serve those, just like that. Right consistency, and you can see all of our swift chard. It didn't melt down to nothing. That's how you want that. So that's how you want that consistency. So over here, we made a little wild rice. as we showed you guys. And we're just gonna plate up with just some of this wild rice. So we're gonna put a little bit in the bowl here. Get a little bit more in there. Now this is how I like to eat this. We also have a video coming up and you can see this plated up with a beautiful meal of catfish. And we'll leave a link in the description for that as well. Mm -hmm. And that video is going to play on the right hand side at the end of this video. So you'll have that as well too to check out. And it's served up with a beautiful fried catfish. Can't go wrong with this one. And that's the way you want to serve that. All right. And there it is. A beautiful lentil dish served up with fresh Swiss chard and ham. Wild rice. Can't go wrong with this one. And if you like this video and more videos about to come, don't forget to give a like.
Until the next time, thank you. We enjoyed having you. Look at that little pit master taste there. <laughs>